Hello. Okay, so this is long, 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 long overdue. I'm still pissed that Ursula never made the cut. Um, I don't get why. She's one of the best villains I know out of all the Disney characters, um, but that's just me. Um, I really wish she had. I really, really do. Um, but nevertheless, um, me being, you know, an 80s kid, I love Disney. So that's part of the reason what, this is why I got into the collection. Otherwise, I, I don't think I would have cared about it as much. Um, so, first and foremost, let's see. I got two of the beauty powders. This is, ooh, this is what most of the packaging looks like. Like it has, you know, a sketch of um, the character on it. So I'm not going to show you every single packaging, but they all generally look like that. It has a sketch of the actual character. So I got two of the beauty powders. I was going to get all three just because I like collecting limited edition compacts. But I didn't like the Cruella one that much. I like these two better. So I got Evil Queen and I got uh, Maleficent. So Evil Queen, yeah. Evil Queens looks like Zot. Um, all of these have like... There no, there's no stickers. They're not sticker decals. But I gotta admit, the packaging's a little cheap. Like it feels like a little too much plastic. Um, this one is an oh so fair, and it's like a peachy pink, a light peachy pink. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell what it really looks like. And just because I love you guys so much, this is the first time I'm officially swatching everything I own from the collection. <laughs> Um, I was trying to wait, but it's okay. So this is the pink one. Maleficence is, everyone knows this one. It's Briar Rose. And this one is my favorite. This one reminds me of the beauty powders in um, Rose Romance and like the blush, blush ombers from Spring Forecast. This is a really pretty like plummy pink color. It's actually quite pigmented for a beauty powder, in my personal opinion. So you can see right there, it's a little bit darker than um, the other one. Her Own Devices is more of a peachy type of color, in my personal opinion. It didn't do anything for me. It, like, disappeared right into my skin. I didn't really like it that much, but whatever. I don't really like Cruella that much anyway, so I didn't really care. And then I got two of the blushes. Yeah. So I got the one from Cruella, even though I don't like her. <laughs> and this is Darkly My Dear. The packaging looks like Darkly My Dear. And this one's like kind of a plumish peachy brown. I like it because I'm kind of getting bored of certain colors when it comes to contouring my face. It's this one right here. I don't have a blush in this color range. A lot of my blushes are like pinky or plumish or peachy. So that's a first for me. The other one, I've got an Evil Queen. This is the infamous Bite of an Apple. I love the packaging on this one the most. Bite of an Apple. And it looks like that. I don't know if this camera is going to do it justice in this lighting, but it is a beautiful coral shade. I love this color. <clears throat> if you guys like Hypnus Blush from the To The Beach collection, this is like 10 times more pigmented. So use a light hand when you apply it. Use a light fluffy brush to kind of just flush the color across your face. A lot of people told me like, oh, it's just too much. It's a little bit too pigmented for me. Whatever, whatever. It's overpowering. Yeah, you just don't know how to use it, girl. So, <laughs> use a light hand, it'll come off as a very natural blush on your face. Promise. From Maleficent, I got two of the, um, I got both, actually, there's only two. They both look the same on the front, so that's what that one looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. This one's My Dark Magic. This is the pink and purplish one. This is the one, this is going to be my replacement for Young Punk, although I know that they're not the same. So one side is pink and the other side is purple. These look amazing when they're wet. I love it. Love, 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 love. That's all I have to say is love, straight love. 
And these are the swatches. This is the pinkish uh, magenta side, and this is the purple side. Either way, alone, on a base, whatever, they look amazing. I personally think they look the best on a grease paint stick, but that's just me. This one is, I think she, who, yeah, this one's she, ooh, hello. This one's She Who Dares, and it's the blue and green one. I always wanted Blue Flame from the Style Black collection, but I never got a chance to get it. So this was my way of kind of catching up on products that I had to miss, which I was kind of bummed with. Oh god. I like really swatched that in the wrong place. So this is the green one and that's the blue one. I'm sorry. I should have swatched it somewhere else. I'm retarded. So those are all the swatches of all the mineral wipes. Products. I didn't get any of the nail polishes. The only two that I wanted were the two that I guess you can get um, from Orly because there's like exact dupes for them. I'm just, I'm kind of over MAC nail polishes ever since I bought the last one from, I think it was to the beach. I think it was called Scorcher. I'm just kind of over their formula. Like I'd rather have OPI or China Glaze or something like that. I don't know. That's just me though. <clears throat> so I got three of the lipsticks. Again, the same style of packaging with the character on the front. I got both of the ones from Cruella. And this is what her packaging looks like. It looks the same on both. Um, I got the nude one in Innocence Beware. And this is the nude shade. Okay. I'm running out of swatch room. Okay, I can't. So, I'm not left-handed. I don't know if you guys are going to even be able to see this. Um, I believe it's a lust. No, it's a cream sheen. I'm sorry. Super off. I don't know if you're going to be able to really see what this looks like because it's very, very sheer. <clears throat> but since I have like rosy lips, it, it turns out pretty nude on me. And I can't go too nude. Like a lot of people like nudes like Myth and Creme de Nude. I can't go that nude. The nudest I can go is probably blankety. That's about it. Anything with like a pink that's a pinky nude, I really, really like because it kind of counteracts the rosiness in my lips. And then I got the red one. This is in Heartless. <clears throat> and this is the Amplified Finish. And this red is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite reds right now. It's looking like fire fucking red in the camera right now, but it's pretty red. <laughs> but I really like it. In fact, with the lip gloss I'm going to show you in a minute, um, it looks amazing on top of each other. <clears throat> then I got three of the lip glosses. I think I got one from each collection. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one more lipstick. Oh. I don't know how I'm going to forget this lipstick because it's my favorite. I think it's probably my favorite item out of the entire collection. I don't know how I forgot to tell you. Okay, so this one is the one from Maleficent. That's what her packaging looks like. I didn't like the other one very much, but I love this color. I was gonna just get it in pro, but I was like, screw it. I get to get it in special packaging, so whatever. And this is the infamous Violetta. I love this color. It's so amazing. So, so, so amazing. You guys know I love shades that are bright and bold, you know, like Show Orchid, um, Girl About Town, Diva. Um, there's another red one that I love. Um, up the amp, that's a purple one that I love. I love colors that really stand out on the lips, and this is definitely one of them. So I love this color. This with current lip liner, beautiful. Love. Okay, that's over now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got three of the lip glosses. Again, same packaging with the sketching on the front. And I got one from each collection. And like I said, I already have the one from Dr. Facilier, whatever the hell his name is. Um, I think it's the Resort Life um, Lip Gelay or whatever you want to call it. Um, that one was actually released first with uh, Mac and Lily Land. So that's when I first got it. And I don't care about his packaging. I don't even care about him. I got three of the lip glosses. This one is the uh, Revenge is Sweet. This one's from Maleficent. <clears throat> the red one is Wicked Ways from Cruella. And this one is Strange Potion from Evil Queen. 
I love all of these. But I think Strange Potion is probably my my favorite lip gloss out of the ones that I chose. But Wicked Ways looks amazing on top of Heartless. So I'm going to do a swatch of it by itself and then a swatch of it on top of the lipstick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I really should have done this beforehand. Sorry. Okay, so here are the lip glosses. This is Revenge is Sweet. I love this one because it makes your lips look super juicy, like just luscious. And then this one is Wicked Ways. And this is what it looks like on top of Heartless. It just amplifies it like a million times more. And then this one is Strange Potion. I, you can wear this by itself. You can wear it on top of a lip gloss. It doesn't matter. Uh, lipstick, I'm sorry. I mean, but it doesn't really matter. I like it by itself. That's just me, though. So that is everything I got from the collection. Um, I was going to get an eyeshadow, but I have most of them. There's maybe one or two that really stood out to me to like really get that seemed different to my collection, but nothing that stood out to the point where I was like, oh, I gotta have it. Not like anything was in there that I had to have it really. It's it, This was more of a I want the packaging type of collection. <laughs> um, but I mean, whatever, like I said, I'm a Disney person. This really hit home for me as a child. I really, really, really wish they had Ursula though. Damn it, Mac. What? But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Finally, I know it took me forever. It took me two weeks. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.